Hello everyone, my name is Jesse Durant and today I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the bridle I designed. I really like to ride bitless but I also ride with a bit, it doesn't really matter. I think as long as what ma really matters is that your horse is comfortable, your horse likes it, that you two can really be a, like as harmonious as you want. Um, so what we designed was a really nice bitless bridle where it is really comfortable for your horse, it's really clear for your horse because the bridle comes with a quick release, the bridle is designed with chiropractic and it's just really nice bridle I think. Um, this is the Nalanta bridle, um, it's a bitless bridle as I told you, this is uh, the brown, we also have the black. As you can see the bridle works with a ring. Um, with this ring you can change the setting for your horse to make sure your horse really gets what your horse likes. Um, what I really like about this bridle is that it has a really wide nose bend and the nose bend is really well padded so maybe you can see it it's really nice and soft for your horse um, because it's made like this it will really fo um, form to the nose of your horse so if you use it a few times it will just fit really well for your horse and the headpiece is um, yeah, designed with a fat and a chiropractor so it's really well designed so it's anatomical and in the best way possible for your horse so this is the bridle. Um, thank God I got a lot of really, really good uh, response from you for the people that already have the bridle because that was my goal to have a bridle that everybody could use. So we had some Grand Prix riders that never rode business before or just people that really like to ride in the forest. It doesn't really matter. It should be possible for everyone and the horse. So this is the bridle. The only thing that I really wanted to make sure is that everybody knows how to fit the bridle well. So if you fit it in the way that I will explain you later with the horse and then you don't have to worry once you watch the video to make sure you really know how to fit the bridle. Um, we have it in black, we have it in brown, we have it in the sizes pony, cop and full. This is also an additional, you can have the brown band. It is only in black, um, but it has with, I don't know if you can see it, it is with black and with uh, silver crystals. So it's really nice if you want to have something extra. So this is the Nalanta Bitless Bridle. I'm really happy with it myself, I use it every day. I will explain you more about how to fit it right now. So I will show you now how to fit the Nalanta bridle, the bitless bridle that I told you about. Okay, so first, of course, just like normally, the reins, then I take the halter off, just however you want to do it yourself. Okay, so what I usually do is, uh, because some horses really want to hold the bridle, um, I usually just make this on the loosest one, so I can just slide it through the nose. Um, but if you do it in a normal way, it's just loose like this. Come on. And then you put it over the ears. Just how you do it with a on a bridle. Okay, and here's actually already the first thing what you have to do. Because as you can see, um, for now it's a little bit too high, so you don't want this thing to damage the cheekbone uh, from your horse. So we're gonna already lower this one more. The sizes are quite adjustable, so if your horse has a little bit of a small head, you can better go for a size smaller. Okay, let me see how this will fit. Okay, so this is better as you can see, then at least you have like around the two fingers away from the cheekbone. Okay, and now what is really important, because I also never really like things really tight, but if you let this really loose, so if I put this on the first hole, it looks very friendly, but if you do that and then you want to use the rein, it will just go like this as you see. So then the bridle will just move and then first of all it's not nice for your horse because you get this friction. So this is not really nice and the good thing about this bridle is, is that this is really like soft and it has a really nice padding in it so the moment you put it a little bit tighter in the beginning it might feel a bit tight um, but as you can see here do it a little tighter but then after a second or a minute this will form like to the face of your horse and then it's really like now it's already loose again and this is a lot better so if your bridle will be sliding and moving a little bit just make sure that it's not too loose and what I sometimes do is I put like this is a bit of an old sheepskin, but just put like a kind of a sheepskin or something underneath here. So then it's even softer for your horse if your horse is really sensitive. Okay, let's put this here. So you put this through. Okay, so the stink about it, this can't be too high because then it will touch the cheekbone. But it can't be too low either because if this is too low then it will just hurt your horse on the nose bone. It's a lot sharper here and it will block the airways as well. So this is a really good... Height. I wouldn't put it any higher, could be a tiny bit lower, but definitely not higher. And this is just how you normally 
have it. It's and another thing that is really important that you need to check for your own horse, you see you have two different options here. So if this cheek strap is too far in front of the cheekbone, then it will also hurt and then it will also not be nice and it won't stay uh, on the spot. So then you can put it on this uh, side of the ring. But if this is really far back and you would like it to go a little bit more forward, you can put it on this uh, part of the ring. And then also you have here two different options. If you want to use it a little bit stronger on your horse, you can use this setting. And otherwise, if you want to keep it as soft as possible, you can just use this setting. Um, so that's really up to your horse as long as you use the same setting on both sides. So now the bridle is correctly fitted. So keep an eye out if this is two fingers underneath the cheekbone, if this is too loose, not too tight, and then you're ready to go. Mm -hmm.